Okay. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to set up GuitarX with a uh, pipe wire in 2023. So, we'll start with the basics. You'll need a few things. For starters, you'll need jack. If you don't already have that, I would. Uh, you'll need that to get this going because GuitarX only uses jack clients, unfortunately. So, um, you'll need that. And uh, you'll need two, a few pieces of software. You'll need GuitarX for starters. Well, I won't open that yet because we do need something to start up before that. But um, to initialize the Jack server, you'll need, um, well, you don't need this per se, but it's the easiest way in my experience because it's user interface, Cadence. So uh, the setup for this just involves connecting your device through an audio interface. For example, here I'm using a guitar. And, uh, and well, that would explain why I'm using GuitarX, right? So we go into the configurations here and you just select your input device for in this case really I, it took me a while to figure this out but you really just have to figure out which one it is if you have one here perfect but you most likely don't so you'll have to figure out which one it is just experiment with it um, an output device which you want to hear your monitor your device through I hear it directly through the audio interface so I just keep it as the same um, after that, you'll want to check your sample rate, try to keep it as high, the highest that your audio interface will support. Buffer size, this is, uh, this is all down to how good your processor is. So for me, 510, 512 seems to be the sweet spot. If I go lower than that, I start getting X runs, which, uh, which for, which to explain in a way that makes sense to me, at least because I'm not a pro. Is a uh, is is just failures, you know, like uh, occasions where the uh, process fails and it sounds like a buzzing, and sometimes it will go sequentially and will just start like a constant buzzing. You have to restart the client. It's a whole thing. But uh, this is uh, you know, as low as you can help. So five twelve works for me. I use a fifty eight hundred X in case that uh, uh, case that access comparison for anyone, and uh. Apart from that, you just set that up, and then you should be able to uh, start it after you've, of course, this is after you've had Jack installed and all that. I use Pipewire, and Pulse Audio should behave the same. So, in, now what you'd need to do is open GuitarX, and for me, automatically, it connects. And you don't hear it yet because we haven't configured the, uh, the routing yet, but you can see there, it picks it up. And uh, we'll just leave this to the side and bring up Cadence again. What we'll need is a tool in here called Cadia. This is for the routing, okay? Um, we'll see here that we have a couple of things. Jack client is not here, so I have to... Uh, nope, not rename. Uh, remove and check input clients and then Okay, and then it shows up here. You want to, for starters, you want to get your capture, you'll have to mess with this. It's not as, it might be easier for you to read from here. You might have two captures. I would recommend just experimenting with it, see which one works for you. Uh, two seem to work for me. You send it through the routing through GuitarX. You say in one, you don't need to mess with the MIDI if you're just doing playback and all that. Um, in, out, zero, and then the head for the uh, for the interface that your system interacts with. So you send this through and you have your two playbacks. This is for each headphone. In my case, I have two, two drivers in my headphones and as most people do. So it'll play in mono, but at least you'll hear through both, both ears. Uh, I'm just going to route this in here so you can actually hear the guitar. So if I say now, that'll work. I will probably bring that down a bit in editing because that is probably very loud. So about there. Nope. Okay, that should be good. So apart from that, you should be all set up, ready to go. You should hear uh, audio. And here should be other tools as well that might work for you. Uh, a render, uh, logs, 
you know, controllers, meters, all that kind of thing. But uh, these two are the main things: Cadia, well, Cadia Cadence and uh, and Guitarx itself. But apart from that, you should be ready to go and play whatever you like. You know, I have my own uh, own thing here, and uh, yeah, you should be able to play some nice things. You know. I'm no, I'm very much not a, not good at this, but you know, uh, learning and you know, figuring things out. You can mess with your uh, different presets here. I have a clean and metal, it's a grungy type thing, which it switched to, but uh, you know, metal, clean, that kind of thing. So yeah, there you go. That's been it.